what you might not realize is that this could be your friend group right now. If you find that you're dimming your light, you're not sharing your passions, you don't want to talk about your mission, you don't want to let people know your new hobby or what you just got into, you might be surrounded by low value people who are competing, combative, or chasing your value. And this occurred in one of our clients, Eric's live. So he joined the X Factor Accelerator because he wanted to grow his network. And he really felt like his social group wasn't what he had hoped for, especially coming out of the pandemic. And as he joined the X Factor Accelerator, he started going through some simple strategies to meet, connect with new people. And as he was going through the high value section in the core modules in the program, he started to realize that in a lot of instances in his past, he had showed up as very combative. He thought that people were trying to take advantage of him, so he had to fight back and he had to win arguments and he had to argue to even get his point across. And as he started to look at his communication, his past behavior, he started to realize that a lot of people weren't sticking around in his life because he was pushing them away by being low value. And who was left surrounding him? More low value people, people who love to fight back, people who love to one up him and prove him wrong. And that's the problem. Upon self-reflection, it takes a little bit of work of holding that mirror up to yourself to realize that if you're running the wrong operating system, well, you're bound to find toxic people in your life. You're bound to find low value people hanging around because they're the only ones who are willing to put up with it, have the patience for it, or be running the same operating system as you. So now that we've got that out of the way, I'd like to share another story. It's the same scenario. However, the culture of that room has changed. The value of the people and the culture of the office changed. So rather than a cutthroat office, let's say that this one has been built on cooperation, collaboration, hearing people out. And when there's an idea in that room, it's not about cutting it down. It's about how do we make it work? So imagine that weekend you come up with an idea that you know is going to be helpful and, and possibly even solve and be the solution to the problems in this office. You get fired up. You can't wait to drop this in on Monday. You roll in Monday, you're going to drop this idea. People are going to look at you as a hero. And you start to think about how you're going to present it. And you know that everyone in that room is going to be fired up. And if that idea is feasible and there's a chance that it might work, that everyone in that meeting room is going to come around and try to work with you on figuring out how to implement this, how do we execute this, and how do we win with this idea? Now, how fired up are you to roll into that office? And as AJ mentioned, imagine if that's your social circle. 